Hey, this is Ode. I'm here chatting with Milky. I was just happy to go back to rap and having fun. So just like, I guess, just following my instinct as much as possible. Just just like listening to the songs and being like, what does it need? Or like playing with the different sounds until I felt good. Just try, honestly, try not to think too much. Just like making, making something I wanted to hear. I guess like I was just realizing that I was, those themes were coming up in the, in the songs. About halfway through, I was like, okay, what are we talking about with this album? That's kind of what I landed on. So then I, the rest of it, I kind of pushed in that direction a bit. I think when I first started, I was just like finding beats to rap on and that was that. was that. And then I kind of got like super, I started overthinking and like got perfectionist. I've been through a million different phases. And so by the time I'm back at this album, I feel like I'm trying to learn all my lessons from my different phases and like hopefully make something that takes all of that good stuff and deletes like a lot of the bad stuff and then hopefully makes a good album. And I think I did. I think every, for me, every time it's different. Like sometimes things happen really quickly. Like access probably happened in like 15 minutes and like we recorded it in like 15 minutes. Whereas other stuff I sit on for months and like play with like, so I just try to, um, but I should probably be quicker. I actually want to be quicker at making music. The song access is just a song and I was making it and kind of, <laughs> I made it with Simon Lamb as a producer and then um, made it on a kind of a different beat. And then I found um, this like loop in my email with the piano and I was like, I put that in and then added some like different vocal samples and stuff. And then, then that's kind of the version we hear now. So it's just like, it just kind of came. So the video was this friend of mine, Harry Dedman. He's from Brisbane. I've wanted to work with him for like years. He lives in London. He does like ads and video clips and blah, blah, blah. So I said, Harry, can you do a video for me? Actually, I ask him all the time, um, can you do a video for me? But he's always busy or always telling me he's busy. And then this time he's like, yeah, yeah, but I'm in New York. So if you want to come here, we can do it. So I just booked a flight and then, yeah, we t we did that. I mean, it was like his interpretation of the song kind of. So he was kind of responsible for a lot of the creative, to be honest. So I probably choose like toxic access and um, Tamika and why I don't know because they're because they're good, <laughs> like and I feel like their songs are like pretty much everyone will like. So my favorite line, uh, I don't know. I mean, I like a lot of the lines. They're kind of funny. Um, Scoop you up like an eagle claw. I don't know. I don't know why, but the song's got lots of those lines that I'm like that. Like I wanted to say that for a while, like said it never rains on memory lane. Like I had that in my head for ages. So I was like glad to put that in a, in a song. What can you expect from an all day live show? I guess like hopefully fun and just like, you know, nice people in the crowd and um, everyone having a good time and having a ruckus, having a ruckus or just doing, taking part in a ruckus. It's important for getting paid <laughs> and it's, but it's also like the connection is important. Like I'm someone who's like through the years played a lot of shows. Like I s definitely, it's like been very important in my career. So yeah, I love playing shows. Probably Kanye, Frank Ocean, Drake. I always hate my answers for this kind of question. Maybe like Alex G. Probably Blonde. Damn, okay, that's a cool question. So it's supposed to be rapid fire. Oh, I can't think of any movies. <laughs> Super bad. Um, if it's going well, I'm thinking like, yeah, I'm so sick. And then if it's going bad, I'm like, I just want to go off and the stage and have someone put me down. Yeah, it's probably something from this album. I don't know. Um, 
I like the end of Tamika where it's like, um, let's see. It just like, I love just silly bars and funny bars. So, and then of Tamika, there's like one that's like, I'm used to thinking the only thing that matter was a bad bitch. No, I'm not from Florida. I never bagged the catfish because there's catfish in, in Florida. I used to love um, rapping um, like, be, probably no one knows this, but Big L, um, it's called Put It On. I just like used to listen to that all the time. It was an Aussie hip hop show and it was Funk Wars and Train of Thought. And I think they maybe got strippers <laughs> on the stage. I was like 12. This is probably like not cool, but I really liked um, Paul Simon at the Hollywood Bowl. I probably have more chance of being a backstreet <laughs> backstreet boy. Um, yeah, I, I I rock with the backstreet boys for sure. Like I don't know Madison Square Garden. Uh, you know what? I've never done karaoke. I mean. I, I don't know, it feels embarrassing or something. In the last 20 years, it's probably Drake. Um, I don't know, the Beatles. Honestly, anyone, I've, I'm begging people to cover my music because like, especially the ones where I'm singing, like, because they're like, I think they're good songs, but that sound good if someone could sing them better. So please. I don't think I can offer him anything because he knows more than I do. Probably, oh wow. I probably wouldn't listen to a song. I'd probably like, just panic. <laughs> um, I don't know, I just like it. I think I was listening to rap music when I was like 10 or 11. I was like, yeah, this is, this is me. I'm like, I'm one of these guys. <laughs>